Oh look, Zoe got banned. Oh look, Zoe got banned again. Although we will be focused on this ban and not this ban because let's just begin the video. Oh hey guys, this time I did see you there. Way the kill one and gag Zoe. Because we fucked up. Ladies and gentlemen, when I say me, I mean me. I got a community guidelines strike. Which, if anything, Zoe, is definitely not something to be proud of. Okay, so I decided to leave 50 seconds off the video as to not really pad it. But let's just say that this one this one segment, if you're gonna go watch it on Zoe's channel, let's just say that is the best description of like how Zoe is just thick about this. We did it! We finally got a strike on my channel. And Zoe, it's really nothing to be proud of. So now, I am considered the YouTube banned live streamer. And Zoe, you are not funny at all. Just don't do- stop doing that stuff. That's right guys, I am no longer allowed to live stream on YouTube. Better call up my friends over at Pornhub, you know, ask them if they uh, support live streaming. First thing, Zoe, I don't think they do, and second, you're not funny. I can maybe throw some gameplay up, and if I can get away with that, I don't know, is there like a reverse thing where you're not allowed to be on Pornhub if it's not sexy enough? Like, like, I was getting all this flack in the YouTube community for being too crazy and too lewd, but I go to Pornhub and I feel like, girls, like, all this porn, like, girls hotter than me? Like, I, I don't do well with competition. I pick and choose my competition. Why do you guys think I hang out with freaking Celestia? She's a bad bitch I want to support. But all the rest of the girls, they don't get no attention from me. They don't. Zoe, uh, the reason why people, the YouTube girls do not like you, the other YouTube girls exactly, is because they actually have better things to do in, your, in their lives than what you do. I pick and choose. So what am I gonna do? <laughs> I am no longer allowed to stream on YouTube for three months because of these puppies, unfortunately. So I basically, what happened on my 21st birthday, I got a little too rowdy and I decided to post a 12 second clip that YouTube decided was not okay. And that's a clip that would be never okay. So I got a strike on my channel and I also got the extra added on thing of having the permissions for my live streams revoked. I will be making another channel for my live streams, indeed, so that I can actually be able to live stream and still make money from that. Oh, I'm invading my band. That is awesome. I mean, it's not like I can sign up for other live stream sites like Ustream or Livestream just so I can still stream content. No, I'm going to create a new channel just to live stream stuff and make money still. So you guys keep an eye out for my other channel that I'll be creating to bypass this ban on this channel. Porn up live streaming, I'm asking for a friend. So I'm hanging out in LA right now, guys. I just got that community guidelines strike this morning. I'm pretty sure you already said something like that. Let's kind of talk about that. Um, I think it's interesting that a lot of people thought I was going to get a community guidelines strike way, way, way before this. Uh, Zoe, I'm pretty sure you remember when you were going to get a strike. So, yeah. It wasn't now they thought. They they didn't see this and think, oh, you know, this is gonna be what pushes Zoe Berg over the edge. People thought I was already on the other side of the edge and that I just wasn't getting called out for it. That is, wait, is it my nip? No, we're good. That is 100% not true. Because those age restricted videos were not already even near the edge. I am just as fallible and just as blameable as any other YouTube content creator. However, my approach to marketing and the way I do things is kind of a little different. For instance, you go to my Twitter page and there's straight up pussy shots. That's a lie, but you won't know unless you go check it out. And that is not a good thing. <laughs> unless you're 18, don't go 
there's no that's not for you 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 can go play minecraft or some shit hey what's up guys it's scary sorry i i meme sometimes it's uh, it's a strange side effect of being on the internet for a long time you know you just kind of start to pick up all these weird things that kind of circle around in your brain and come out at spastic moments when you don't even realize what you're actually saying. And I try way too hard to be funny sometimes. See what I mean? I'm the YouTube female Kanye, guys. I'm even making my dick writers rich because regardless of what I do, everyone's gonna have fuel to talk about. And that's what brings in views. And nothing brings in more views than hating me. And little kids. <coughs> I'm not impressed when someone can hate me and then make a whole video about it because I know you're gonna get views from that because you get to put my titties in the thumbnail you get to be like oh this girl's ruining YouTube you know what Zoe you really are <laughs> and everyone's like you're so right you're so right you're like so right you're right I needed to say that on the internet but you're right and they get Cha-ching from all of that. There's nothing wrong with that. I've embraced it. I've even given shout outs to several people who have been straight up talking shit to me because I don't give a shit. Never mind the fact I did not take criticism very well. I don't care. I get it's how the game is played. No, if you really want to impress me, say something nice about me and manage to make that video do well. That's all I got to say. That's 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 the open challenge to you guys. I think now it's becoming way more understood that I'm smarter than people initially thought. <laughs> you, 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 yeah, you think you're smart. You're not really, you're not really smart, so you really, really not smart. People were quick to say, oh, e-girls are dumb. All they do is sit on camera and, and giggle and they get shit ton of money and there are girls who do that and they are doing that for a reason because it works and somehow it should never have for me i wanted to go farther and beyond there are plenty of cam girls on youtube who do and show more than i do but guess what you don't know who the fuck they are you're not subscribed to them it doesn't matter what you show if Skin equaled fame, then every porn star would be famous. It wouldn't be just Mia Khalifa we knew about. It wouldn't be just Alexis Texas. It would be every single bitch who's ever gotten fucked on cam. Please refer to a woman's video about that. But that's not true. That's not true at all. In reality, it is because of a set of things that have happened that are not just me flashing my titties on Twitter. Now, Again, guys, I did get a community guideline strike. Yep, definitely heard that before. It, it does, it does, it does fuck me a little bit. Please do not, do not, do not stutter like that. But guess what? That is our area of shine. But guess what, guys? That is where we shine. Man, I love repeating. Hey, guys, did you know I love repeating? We, as a community, and I don't mean YouTube, I mean me and my fucking subscribers, the ones who made me, the ones who pushed me to one mil. You guys are there because you believe in me because of something more. Yeah, about that. It's not just fucking, oh god, I hope she does post a pussy shot one of these days. <laughs> that would be nice. Not that I wouldn't be okay with that viewpoint because I think sex sells and I think it's okay to sell in that manner. Actually Zoe, I really doubt that it's okay to do that in any circumstance. Now you're not going to be able to convince other people that their ideas are wrong. You can't convince someone that what I do is right if they honestly believe that what I do is wrong. You can't. All you can do is click away. Now it just happens to be that there's a strange intersection between 
the people who say what I do is wrong, and people who still continue to watch me. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, 80, wait, 51% of my watch time is from non-subscribers. That is insane. That means of my million subscribers, double are actually clicking on my video to just fucking hate on me. Hey Zoe, is that something called mm, criticism? Or anywhere from hate on me to just keep up with the drama. Oh, you mean you Zoe? Okay, let me just take a little detour here and just say, what are you talking about Zoe? I thought this started off as just talking about, you know, YouTube banning you. You know, I think this video could even be very shorter if you didn't just take a detour to just went real. Because drama sells. You guys have to understand, you can't just come in and underestimate people. It's not fair. You have to give them opportunities and abilities and I look like a muscular frog to be able to go beyond what other things exist that have already restricted other people's abilities. Wait, what the hell did I just say? I think it's my eyes that make me look kind of frog-like. Oh, it's the nose. Zoe. Do his editing software for a reason. Again, this video could be cut down very short if you A, got rid of all that rants, and B, just get rid of nonsense like that using an editing software. <sighs> so I just got done filming the baited podcast on my birthday. And now what you're talking about, like, I, I understand that when people get angry, they have a really incoherent look in mind. But that was way too incoherent. She was just talking about how she got banned off YouTube, then she suddenly just took a detour to Wentville, and then finally she's talking about some thing. I don't know, let's just continue watching. Now, the beta podcast was super fucking fun. I had such a great opportunity to be able to be with these great minds and have an opportunity to make entertainment, but also get some important points out. And I learned from Colossal that you can't change people's opinions. You really can't. And it's not worth trying. It really is not. So you just gotta go with it. Roll with the punches. And I'm looking forward to what you guys think when you guys go check out that podcast because I know the way other people are gonna perceive it. So I'm hoping my subscribers will be able to see that like, there's more to the story. <laughs> I really doubt that, Zoe. And of course I wanna support someone who I believe has really helped me out, just like Scarce has really helped me out in my channel to grow because everyone wants to know what's going on with this, this pair of titties, you know? Now guys, before I wrap this up, I wanted to say that we have the nudes at one mil video, which is still in the works. What are you talking about, Zoe? First, you just talked about how YouTube banned you, then you took a detour to Wentville abruptly, you abruptly talk about a podcast, and now you're talking about this, what are you, I need to know how your mind works, Zoe. I'm flying to Denver this weekend to film my Nudes at One Mill video with my bare naked body. And we're going to have to see where that goes, guys, because I promised that I was going to post this video on YouTube and I still will post it on YouTube. However. Which leads to a possibility of another community strike, Zoe. Your homegirl is going to have to play her cards right. You guys might have to see the uncensored version on Twitter because apparently Rihanna can get away with bare naked titties in her music videos and keep them monetized and not even age restricted. But if I am in a bathtub with Celestia Vega and fucking pouring water all over myself, like, ugh, then apparently that's not okay. Zoe, there is a strong fine line between what Rihanna is doing and what you are doing. Well, now we know. We, we're we growing as, as a subscriber base and me as a content creator. What? Just okay. I think I've become weed too redundant at this point. Let's just, let's just get through the video. I am so lonely. I'm sitting in this fucking hotel room by myself. Talking to a camera about why I show my ass on the internet. 
Oh, I do not care if you're trying to be funny or not, which you're not funny, obviously, but cut stuff like that out, it's completely unnecessary, it really pads out on um, your video and probably this video as well. <laughs> it is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. I tried to drag this video out to 10 minutes because your girl needs that ad revenue. <laughs> That's right, guys. You basically just listened to 9 minutes of ad revenue, and if you watch the whole damn thing. I love you. I really do. Please comment one in the chat if you guys want nudes because you guys know I love giving you nudes. And I will see you guys tomorrow when I decide to post another video bitching about something else. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. <sighs> what did I watch? Like, I'll tell you what, if you guys have been just skimming through this video, uh, here's the, um, like, um, you know, Summary. It starts out with Zoe talking about how YouTube striked her, and then she just took a abrupt detour to Wentzville, just talking about how to just a podcast afterwards. Like, I don't get how Zoe works. Like, I know I'm not really talking very well at this point. Like, it just cripples my mind. That's what happens when you're watching a stupid video from a stupid YouTuber. It really just cripples your mind. Like, Jesus Christ. <sighs> well. I guess that's that though, um, I hope you I hope you all enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, and I'm just going to go to sleep now. So the last few days of November have been actually pretty good um, view-wise, I mean never mind the 28th where I had no views gained or the 30th where I, my views had dropped significantly, but the last few days of November were very very good, but then look at this. Where the heck did the views go for the first few days of December? Only today have I gained high amounts of views, so that is awesome, but what the heck did happen to the views on the first week of December? Now keep in mind, this was not just limited to me, let's look at some other channels. This is Mr. Beast stats. Um, he didn't receive any views on the 23rd or 28th, and on the 30th, he only received about half of his, um, you know, regular views he gets. Uh, you know, like, usually he gets, um, uh, between 300,000 and 200,000, but he only got 100,000, a little over 100,000. Um, on the 30th, which is a little bit more, less than what he usually gets, and then on the, between the first and fourth, he didn't receive any views at all. And just today, he only he actually received over a million, a little over a million views. So that's awesome for him. Now here are the stats for scarce. Again, he received no views on the 23rd and on um, 28th. But unlike Mr. Beast and me, he seemed to lose views on the 30th, and then of course, um, had no views between the first and fourth. Um, never mind the sub count, like, holy heck, he, he actually lost views, guys. Even PewDiePie, who is one of the largest YouTubers as of right now, fell victim to this. Like, it was only, well, of course, he, he didn't receive any views on the 23rd or 28th. Um, but, like, it, like he only had half of his regular views only a day after he had over, he gained over one, 11 million views. Then, of course, no views between the first and fourth, but unlike the other few YouTubers, he lost views like on the just, just the day. Like what the heck? And look, even Zoe has been losing a bunch of views, like he didn't she didn't receive any views on the twenty third or twenty eighth, but she also didn't gain any views on the twenty sixth, which is quite unusual. And between and between the twenty ninth and thirtieth, she seemed to only get half of the views she usually gets and of course no views on the first, between the first or fourth, but what the heck is going on YouTube? Like, I don't get it. I don't care if there's like a glitch in the system or whatever, but YouTube, can you at least fix it and not be lazy to fix it? You Like, just fix it, YouTube. Like, it's not that hard and we can actually get our views back to normal how it's supposed to be, right? Like, we need to grow YouTube and you know you have to grow too, so please fix it.
Oh, wait a minute. I think I can actually debunk that statement because YouTube has fallen victim to this too. <laughs> eh, I feel a bit better now. Alright, there we go. Fair enough. So in that regard, hopefully this will be fixed soon. I think it's already technically fixed right now, but whatever. Um, But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. So as many of you know, a few days ago, Zoe Bogle got a strike on her channel, and instead of like waiting for the community strike, um, which was the strike she got uh, to be expire, which I had to do two years ago, and it was quite painful, but whatever. But rather to wait for it to expire, she decided to invade her band because she needed to continue live streaming on the YouTube site, and uh, she made two trades promoting it. So yeah, let's just check it out. So here it is, uh, it's nothing really special, you know, it's just, um, the banner's just a picture of Zoe, and the only liked videos on this channel right now are just five of, um, Zoe's videos from his, her main channel, just because she's an egotist, uh, and she has zero subscribers, okay, so, if you've been, if you looked at the last image, uh, um, she says she already has over a thousand subscribers, but, uh, I don't see a thousand subscribers right there, so, Maybe we should just go ahead and check out Social Blade and see if she does have thousands of sus subscribers. Nope, Zoe, what now? You only have 451 subscribers. Maybe if I do refresh the page, maybe you do gain a thousand subscribers. Then I just, then as I just, you know, just as I was checking this, uh, Zoe just tweeted out she now has 3,000 subscribers. And no, you don't, Zoe. Maybe when I do refresh, maybe, uh, and forget it. Okay, never mind. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna have to cut this short. I have to apologize. Like, there's nothing really interesting today with Zoe, other than the her, um, a channel that's evading the strike is created. So, but next time when Zoe does make post something that's uh, interesting to, for us to watch, then I will watch. We will do it. So, for now, that is all. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Hi friends, this is a Molly Hughes from Herkabox TGM. As you can see, um, just to celebrate uh, the season finale of Survivor that will be coming on um, the, tonight, uh, I'm going to be playing Survivor the interactive game. Uh, so, so you can see we're going to be playing the Australian Outback version. Um, they said there's a Survivor Africa version that is probably never going to be coming out. So, who knows? Let's just play. All right, uh, we're just going to choose a single player game. Uh, we're going to create a new game. I we're gonna be playing a short season since you know the season finality. Uh, continue. 
Okay, so what team do I want to be on? Okay, this is this is kind of confusing. Like, it, it's supposed to be like the survival of Arshbrun and Outback season, but we have the Wadden on trial from the first season, so... Uh, I like Wadden of Death, so... I'm gonna do that. Choose my character. Um... I have a custom survival in here, actually. Uh... The here he is. Um... So, let's just begin. So episode 11 we are on, um, and here's the survival period which is going to be quite boring. Just to help you guys, uh, I'm going to just eliminate pods that are unnecessary, so, uh, and actually we'll just see who we have on our tribe. Are you sure I like put the, forget it, uh, I'll just... I'll just get water. Alright. I don't think it matters. Uh, who do I like? Who do I hate? Uh, I like Kaylee's so go. Well, we're all at. Th we're, everything's pretty much default right now, so we cannot do anything, but we're at neutral, so let's just begin. And I do nothing. Wait a minute. It's just Kelly. Hello, Kelly. Um, how are you holding up? Mm-hmm. Eight, what, okay, eight days left, so that's something, uh, definitely. Let's off of, uh, Gervais. Uh, what have you heard? <laughs> yes, that's Oh, I got work to do, so... Bye-bye! <laughs> Alright, so, uh... I'm kind of actually su suspicious of Kelly for some reason. Um... So, who knows? Oh! Hello! Okay, so you think you can make it to the final thread? Good for you! Really, I've been out there for six months. A long journey? I'm not so sure about that. Oh yeah, don't worry. Yeah, but what an adventure. Okay, so everyone seems to hate Jarvis. Okay, so... I guess Jarvis is a target. I'm gonna have to go talk to him though. Uh, got to go. I need to get Jarvis. Uh, Jarvis! Oh, hi. Um, I'm going to... <laughs> Okay, so I th wait a minute. Oh, 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 do I have to? Do I want to spoil to Jarvis? I'm going to have to vote him off. Uh, oh, I'm going to vote. Oh, I'm sorry for this, Jarvis. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he's going. To, he's going to have to vote me off. Uh, all right. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, hey, Gretchen. Um, how are you showing up? Uh, good for you. Okay, so people hate Jarvis, but I, I I like Greg though. He's very charismatic to sit. Oh hi, perhaps I got to go. Uh, Greg. Uh, people are saying. Okay, so the majority. So I'm between like Gretchen and Jarvis because who would want to, who want, who would want to vote Greg off? I, I don't like her. Uh. Okay, so we're gonna now do a challenge at Challenge Beach, apparently. <laughs> Weird name. And it's a reward challenge, so. Okay, so what do we. Okay, so these questions will prove if you know what is what and who is who in this land and in the world of kangaroo. Sure thing. Ah, seizure mode. No, no, that's real. Impressive. 
The, this challenge will test your knowledge of both Australia and Survivor. The first to move down the board wins. When it's your turn, click on the end. So, okay, let's just begin. Alright. So, I'm going to win a family member if I do this correctly. Uh, other than what does the food. I don't know this. Uh, Clove Barrel. I guess figs. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, High Point Australia is what is an Australian sounding name. Yes! There we go. Um, Audi Block. Yeah. Unless, yeah, uh, what oh, is, is the state of, I get. I think Tas it's Tasmania, I know that, oh yeah, it is, but, mm. anyways, the Sogman is, uh, Sogman is a tramp or hobo, I will just, yeah, oh, um, so I'm gonna win this challenge, I'll get to see your family from home, yay! Australia has been fighting in two, in two. The last time I checked, I think it's six territories in... Oh. No, let's see! Oh, dang it. No, it can be set. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully the next question will be easier. I just need to win this challenge. See my family from... I'm gonna be a little hot woman and say Gatlinburg. Not that I have any family in Gatlinburg, but um, at the time of this uh, recording, uh, that is a, a big issue in Tennessee right now, so yeah. Oh, oh it uh, took the name. I I'm gonna just take this guess. It's gonna be C. Um, yeah. Oh well. Uh, Alright, and Thor 2 would be the most diverse of all. I would imagine Jerry. Mm -hmm. No, it has to be Jerry. It's gonna be Jeff. It's gonna be Jeff. It's all. Oh, boy, I got it right. Hey. Oh, I'm so close now. But then, again, I think Gretchen is also very close, too. Oh. Damn! I lost. Alright, done. Day two. So survival period. So I know people want Greg and uh, Gervais off. I know jo I think Gervais is reasonable, but why Greg of all things? That thing is very funny. I think I might have to actually get rid of Gretchen because who would want to get rid of Greg anyway? Alright, Gina's not going to do anything. So, I like Greg, I'll go with him. Um, not so much for Gervais. Uh, Gretchen, no, obviously, I get the, there we go. Oh, <laughs> so um, I'm going to leave uh, Gina and Kelly, but I'm going to also turn on, yeah, so. Alright, let's just uh, continue on. Where's Greg? I want to talk to him. Well, like, where's Gretchen? I need to call or help for wanting to vote off on Greg. I'm in 38 seconds anyway. Oh, there he is! Greg! How are you holding up, Ben? I think she... I don't think... No, I don't think so. You can never complete... I don't think we know that. Alright, uh... Uh... Uh, I'm going to. What's the option I can tell Greg? You know, uh, I guess we don't have that at all. Uh, I kind of agree. We don't not need Travis. Like you. I'm going to criticize my enemies. 
Hmm. Yep, there we go. We're going to be voting off Gwenchin tonight. So. Yeah, what's up with Gwenchin? Why, is the, why does she hate you? Well, we got work to do, especially since we're about to do the meeting challenge, so... Nice talking to you, Greg. Uh... So, so I suppose we're gonna be voting on Quitter tonight after this, so... I swear, if there's another survival period... After this, then I'm gonna probably... It's gonna probably, like, total my uh, USB drive. <laughs> anyway, uh, meeting challenge, so let's begin. That's helpful. Um, long walk home. Alright, uh... Oh. Oh. Why you stop there? Yeah. Oh, goodness. No, no, come back, come back, no! Uh... I can't see the number of ammo I have anyway, I, I it's just... Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, Oh no, I didn't. You tricked me. How dare you? And I screwed up. Alright. Ah, glad. Ah, where are we going? Alright. Are we gonna come? <laughs> Whoa, I'm Jesus. I'm freaking Jesus. Where are we going? I think the game. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? What the f- <laughs> Where are we going? I'm not gonna win the game, I, I can't, I'm not gonna win the immediate challenge here, I guarantee you that, but what the heck is happening? Like, what? I don't- I- What the freak? Can't even tell what, how how much longer we have in this round. Oh god! <laughs> I mean, I'm not even mad though. This is just what the freak happened. The game just like paused for a second. Like I have no idea why I did. I just decided to walk into whatever the heck I am. I'm like, like what the? Um, all right. I'm not gonna continue just wearing blank or else I'll be one of those GTA 5 train YouTubers. <laughs> uh, funny joke. Uh, so yeah, how much longer do we actually have? Who knows? Uh, uh, I think we're not walking anymore. Oh my goodness. I don't think there is a time limit, now that I think about it. Well guys, we hit a glitch, unfortunately. Wait a minute, is there like a way to... Wait a minute, let's try this. Quit the main menu. Let's try to continue previous game. I think we just... Is the game still the gun? Is the game going to be fixed or? All right, so I'm going to be the water carrier. I'm just, I'm just testing this out. Like, I'm not going to probably continue playing the game after that. But what the? <sighs> All right, I think we've had enough weirdness. Oh, the game reset itself. That is wonderful. Well, in that case, goodbye. Alright, so, in conclusion guys, the game sucks, let's just give you that. Uh, so, and anyway, uh, good luck to anyone who might win the survival finale, who might win the finale of survival tonight, so, good luck to y'all, and, um, thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please just a thumbs up, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe.
Christmas is just around the corner and Amazon has special deals for those products that you might want to get for a friend or family member. The Primary is happy to serve you in this Christmas special. The first item is the Fire Tablet, a high-end low-cost tablet. The, M the normal cost for this item is $49.99, but right now you can get this for only $39.99. The second item is the Paper White Candle, a glare free portable ebook reader. The normal cost for this item is $119.99, but right now you can get this for only $99.99. The third item is the Amazon Tab, the Bluetooth speaker. The normal cost for this item is $129.99, but right now you can get this for only $89.99. The fourth and final item is the Fire, Fire HD 10, a large display tablet. The normal cost for this item is $229.99, but right now you can get this for only $199.99. If you want any of these items, the links to the store page is in the description below. This has been a Hugbox TTN production. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Hi friends, this is Marley Hughes from Huckabucks TGM. Um, I'm going to make a quick video just to say, hey, I reached my 800 subscribers. It's actually quite funny because it's only um, it's only it's only about a week ago that I reached another milestone, which is reaching 1 million views. But now I have 800 subs a week later. So um, I would like to thank you all for that. So. And uh, I have another announcement to make. Uh, I will be doing three Christmas videos. You know how, like, on Halloween, I made there was three videos that were posted. Um, you know the tutorial gameplay, and you know, and so that was that. Um, I'm going to do the same for Christmas. Uh, I'll have a tutorial. I've had I don't know what the tutorial the tutorial will be right now, but the gameplay will be ski free. So check up on that. And the more video will be a video that I have ne I have never posted in two years. So that's all. I, that's that's what that's that. Um, I hope you all can't wait for those videos. And I uh, thank you for watching this one. And I'll see you later. Oh, it's starting to feel a whole like Christmas. Oh crap. Well, guys, we do not have any snow in Tennessee, but you know what we do have. New videos for Christmas Eve! Like Halloween, I decided to use the formula for tutorials, gameplays, and more, and here is the tutorial, gameplay, and the more content. The tutorial that will be up at 5pm Central Standard Time will be about Flipnote Studio 3D and the demonstration of the app. The gameplay that will be up at 6pm Central Standard Time will be Ski Free featuring the Obama Snowman monster or whatever, I'm just too scared of it. And the final video that will be up at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time is an old video that I have not released in two years. It will be the last night with my Asus Spy 1 722, which, if you all and uh, if you saw my videos back in the day, that was the laptop I used for my videos and stuff. So yeah. So again, here are the videos that will be up on Christmas Eve: Flipnote Studio 3D, Ski Free, and the Asus laptop on Christmas Eve. I will be uploaded in Central Standard Time and it'll, they will all be posted on December 24th, 2016, which is Christmas Eve. So, in that case, enjoy the videos and Merry Christmas!
if you guys can recall back in February 13th, 2015, I uploaded a video discussing the then newly released Flipno Studio 3D in North America. In the description of the video, I gave out a tutorial on how to get it. But if you cannot tell, obviously, uh, these these instructions are pretty much out there, especially with from Club N Nintendo being re replaced with um, my Nintendo just a year later. That being said, though, um, um, Nintendo has since reintroduced it to the my Nintendo service, and for this tutorial, I'll show you how to get it. Um, so here I am at the front page of my Nintendo. Um, what you will need to do is um, you can either create an account. Um, which I'll just demonstrate for you right now. Um, you'll just um, create a Nintendo account if you do not already have one. Uh, you can either use um, the ex any existing account you may have, you know, from your social network or from your Nintendo network ID. But um, if you don't, um, just sign up. All this stuff here, I'm just gonna make some crap up. Uh, potato main potatoes at email.com uh, password potato password potato uh, let's see um, okay so now we're going to be going to um, drum, just keep in mind, this is just me just messing around. Uh, you do not need to like do that, like do this crazy stuff. Uh, you just put your own information in. Um, but I do already have an account, so I'm just gonna go back and just sign in for my account, which I will do immediately. So give me a moment. So here I am logged in. Just let me give me a second. I'm just gonna do some crap because. Okay, so that was never mind that, but uh, what you need to do is, um, as you can see on some points, uh, you can do this. I'll show you pretty much how you can do it. We're going to just go to on point seal. Um, so, as you can see, you can on points when you know uh, Super Mario 1. Uh, Mitomo, I, if anyone still plays that. Uh, and here's the platinum points, which is what you need. Uh, so as you can see, I have all the missions complete. So, but every week you can to like you know to, to get to um 200 platinum points, which is the amount you need to purchase um Flip Note Studio 3D. What you need to do is um you know the quickest way to actually do it is um, probably for the first time log in and just link your stuff and just pretty much all that stuff so I'm not gonna just demonstrate it since I already completed on um, these tasks but either way um, after you get um, two, at least 200 points uh, what you're gonna do is just you know go back to the my Nintendo front page and uh, click redeem points Scroll down, uh, click Nintendo 3DS where you use software digital content. And uh, it will show you the redeem of points. And here is where you get Flipnote Studio 3D, at least at the moment. Uh, just click on it. And from there, I'll um, just click redeem. I'm not going to redeem anything though since I already have it on my 3DS. But what, we, what will happen, to my knowledge, after you redeem it, is that um, it, will, it, will, it will come up with you with a, a code you need to use for the Nintendo eShop. So just take the code, um, copy it down, or just look at your screen like I do, uh, and just go to eShop and just redeem the code to download it so no much more ex to explain uh, I'm pretty much done here so just for clarification though um, I'll be showing you what um, my Nintendo looks like so let's just get right on to it so here is the um, Flipnote Studio 3D app um, 
Um, we're just going to go ahead and play it. Along with the camera, but never mind. Nah, there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> it's just me. Uh, anyway, we're just going to, you know... Um, I'll just create a flip note and I'll show you what it would be like when it's animated, so... I'm just going to make a little flower. Well, actually I'm going to clear that. So we're going to actually try... Next, whoa, I don't know what I'm trying to do, um, oh, turn page, okay, that's the first pill, next page, I'm going to draw another petal, And another petal. And another petal. This is the worst flower ever. <laughs> um, and another petal. And we'll see what it's like now. So, ooh, I didn't mean to do that, but never mind. Uh, we're going to just animate it, so... Play. You know what, I think we could do better, we can, um, you know, change the speed. And that is a bit too fast. Try five. I don't actually want it to loop, so we'll just... Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, we're just going to go back and uh, save this. I don't know what folder I saved it to, but I don't think it would matter. Um, wait, we're going to go view it. And here's the flip note I made. And you know what? I wish this was actually animated now. With, um, I mean, you know, oh, wrong one. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to do that. I'm going to edit it actually so it does loop. Oh, freaking heck. Um, uh, and how do you loop? I want to loop this. There we go. Now it will loop. Um, Sorry about that. Quit. And there it is. It's just I'm a flower growing some petals. Not the best one, but here's some of the default ones that come with this. Which are far more better than mine. Yeah, that's pretty much it for that, um, so I hope you found this video helpful, um, thank you all for watching, if you enjoyed it, please give a thumbs up, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, and Merry Christmas. Hi friends, this is Molly Hughes from Hugbox TGM. As you can see, we're going to be playing Ski Free, so let's just do this. Uh, going to do freestyle because hey, why not? Ah!
Ouch. I can't jump over trees, what am I trying to do? I'll try to slow it down. Everything's so white. It's, I can't see anything because it's white. Like white people. <laughs> Finding me. Oh wait, I will not make jokes ever again. Finish. Ah! Ah! Go faster! Someone is chasing me! Hello. Aimba. It's just everything's so white. Okay. That's something right there. Uh. Okay, I don't see. It. Oh, I see some people are gonna go on the rainbow because why not? Ouch. Jump! Ah, what the heck! Oh, pff. there is no one anywhere. There is no one everywhere but the dogs. Jump! Oh heck! Whoa, that was a record. Amazing record. Ah, no, no, oh dang it! All right, so I'm dead right there. Um. Uh, okay, that would probably be it. well. We yeah. All right, um, that is pretty much it. Um, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this? Please subscribe. And Merry Christmas, by the way. Between Christmas 2012 and Christmas 2014, I regularly used this computer, an Asus Spy 1722. The specifications of this computer were ridiculously low, but the RAM is only 2 gigabytes. The CPU, the CPU speed is one exactly 1 gigahertz, and the maximum CPU speed is 1.33 gigahertz, which is very, very low. It's near the megahertz section, but the hard drive capacity was quite reasonable enough, to say the least. Christmas 2014, uh, I got this Toshiba Satellite C55. Why I will not go into full detail about it, all I can say is that it was far much better than uh, the Acer with higher specs and the RAM was 4GB and the um, CPU speed was much faster, 2.16GHz, um, it, it helped that it was had, it had an Intel process so, and the hard drive capacity was 500GB so this laptop was far much better compared to my Acer. Uh, the day before Christmas, I recorded three parts of a video detailing the um, Acer Spy 1 and uh, the apps it had and the stuff it done. Uh, and I'll show it to you now, so enjoy. Hi friends, this is Molly here from Havax TGM. Um, it is Christmas Eve, obviously, since you can check the upload date. Um, and tonight looks like it will be the final night I'll be with my ASO Aspire 1722. Um, so, um, since tomorrow will be its two year birthday, and since tomorrow I'm gonna be, um, not using this computer as much now, um, I'll be get, get going, deta going into detail on about this laptop. Um, I do not recommend you to get it because as far as I know, um, Acer stopped supporting it and if you want to get support you have to pay, which sucks, so, yeah, um, so yeah, um, I can't remember the exact specifications for this, um, but I'm going to get up close, obviously, um, so here is the Acer Spy 1, um, I'm going to turn it back and you can see, here's the Acer logo, 
here's the Spy one part um and this computer I'll get into in a second actually so let's we'll just look at the design um it's an ultra thin um and I do not know why it's not that ultra thin Ugh. this is what it looks like when you open it this is what it looks like when you open it um yep ultra thin indeed because the screen is I guess don't name it after the screen the size of the screen. Um, as you can see, there's a little webcam there, um, which many can't seem to detect properly now, for me though. Um, of course, power button, and here is your keys, and these keys, the F1, the W, the... Um, we'll just get to that in a second. The M key, which is bothering me, I'll get to in a second. The B, and the B key. Okay, so, A, B, C, D... Oh yeah, this is the F key um that got broken off too. So um, and I'll tell you a story. Um, I do not know, but one day, one night, I waged on a Roblox game at the time when I was obsessed with Roblox, and I, and I broke these two keys. I didn't get this key completely broken off right here on the B key before. Um, but I messed up the B key, and B M key, and the M key was bothered so bad, and it got a bit dirty, and then it, um, s and then it stopped acting correctly, and just started spamming a bunch of amps. Um, it doesn't seem to do that now, right now, so, and here's a touchpad, by the way, um, it's not working anymore, it doesn't really work all the time, but, um, yeah, so, and this is a broken, um, yeah, um, since it aged very well, um, look on the sides, um, yeah, here's the chart, <laughs> it's hard to, I'll just, let's, it doesn't matter, but here's the charger port right here, this is the internet port, uh, something you can connect to your monitor, um, a USB port, and another, oh, it's HDMI, I never noticed that, <laughs> weird. Um, on this side it has more buttons pretty much, um, two USB ports, um, which this one I connect to my, <sighs> this one I can, like this, this one, <laughs> sorry, um, this one I connect to, to my, ma with my map, I connect my mouse into, and this one I connect my USBs into, including the one on the other side. Um, here's a microphone slot, and here's the headphone slot. So, um, we're now gonna actually get into detail on this, um, so let's open it and power this, um, I should call, um, disaster on, <laughs> cause nowadays this computer likes to crap up on me, of course. Ugh, okay, but I also, I'm gonna plug everything in. So, see, so you can see what it looks like. I, I bet you've already saw it a couple of times when my computer looks like what, like that, but... Just in case you don't know. Just in case you don't know, this is what it looks like. I know, it's a mess. I apologize. <laughs> Anyways, power on. Oh yeah, um, I want to show you something. I cannot access my BIOS. Look, this is why. Oh, in August, um, my computer got hijacked and resulting in some of my stuff being compromised. And once I got it back, I noticed I couldn't enter the BIOS settings anymore properly since it this current password thing. I tried putting any password, like, hold on a second. Trying to get every password on here, and this is the result. Password check fail. Ugh, studious. Whatever. And system will halt. And as it said, system will halt. So I have to turn this back off. On. Uh, I have to turn this off. Turn it back on. My lips are kind of sticky and stuff. Okay, so how do I get into my BIOS and how did I be able to upgrade to Windows 10 a few months to like to like three months later?
well. Cow. See, this is plop. Um, that's how I got into my bio settings so I can install stuff from USB. See, so one floppy. I find floppy useless in this. You know, this. I don't. I don't have an internal floppy drive, and if and if I, I I have to get an external floppy drive, but I don't have that either. I only have this. I would rather say screwed up um um CD drive right here. So yeah. Anyways. Let's see. Let's boot in to the computer. Now we wait for this computer to boot. Can't breathe right now. <laughs> okay. Oh, I just need to stretch like Mike Tyson. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Go! Go! Boo! Move. Move. Come on. Go. Faster computer. God dang it. Ugh. All right. So, I'm going to log in. All right. Um I'm logging in now. I'm also going to censor my email address since I don't want any of you to know it. Actually, never mind. I may not uns not censor it, but I don't know yet. Dun, 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 dun. I'm looking at the time on my Nintendo videos right now. 30 seconds remaining until this half of the clip is done. Okay, finally it booted, um, and yeah, so you can see it, it there's my, um, Hubbox TGM logo right here, um, I'm gonna actually add something to this, um, before I go, go oh, hold on, anyways, um, I, this is my, obviously my Hubbox TGM logo on my desktop, um, and now I'm gonna, um, alter this slightly, um, before, tonight, before I go to bed, um, to just put an extra archive somewhere, I don't know, since the task bar right here, you know, can get in your way sometimes, but, yeah, um, and I kept this since, this is some territory I was using with C++ to make my own game engine, um, like, um, so like, <laughs> brain process. So, um, I'm gonna alter this, um, before I go to bed tonight, um, for, so I can wait for Santa to bring me my new laptop tomorrow. Um, so yeah, um, this is my older one, and I kept this since Windows 8, um, so, I have no idea why, don't ask questions right now. So yeah, um, you can see my desktop is slightly a mess, um, well, it's not much a mess, but it's not even a mess at all, but it's just kind of unorganized. Oh, yeah, and I also have a photo of CD disk installed, too, also. I wonder to yell. Um, anyways, um, <laughs> um, anyways, either way, uh, yeah, I've some startup items here. 
such as this, which promises free free international calling, but it's not free at all. You have to have credits. And I have this, which I only use for Grand Theft Auto 4, which I cannot log into it anyway, since you, you, you're required to, like, you know. Um, so, yeah, so, I'm going to actually go into the control panel, and the freak was that? Oh, that was Windows. I think that was, um, Microsoft. OneDrive, I think. Whatever. Um. I'm loading up the control panel and you can see my computer is an AMD. I'll get to it in a second. Um, system and security. System. I'm going to see if this would work. I guess it will. Um, so right here you can see I'm running the Windows 10 with Techno Preview. Um, I have an AMD C60 APU with Radeon. TM HD graphics, one gigahertz. Um, that's not much gigahertz. Even my iBook G4 has like one point. It has 33 extra gigahertz. Um, I have two gigabytes, even though 1.73 is usable, which is the reason why I'm a computer slow. Um, I have the 64-bit version of the Windows 10 technical preview, and I'm running on a 64-bit based processor. I have no pin and touch of input. Um. Um, yeah, so, let me see if the windfall thing still works, actually. No, actually, DX, Diag, Di, um, that means, um, DX, Diag, Diag means, um, <laughs> um, okay, um, DX, Diag, um, means direct X di um, diagnosis. Um, you can tell because up here. Um, so this gives you more information. Um, like um, the operating system is of course you don't need to know that. Um, um, my system manufacturer is Acer. My system model is the um, Aspire 170. Shut up. Um, the, the system model, just making sure it's still running, um, system model is on the AO 722 also known as the Aspire 722 Um, the BIOS is the default one, which is the Indies, us, I don't know, um, and of course the processor is the same thing, except it gives you an extra two CPUs. Yeah, because I use Dolphin Emulator, and it doesn't even emulate that much. Wow, um, memory, um, 2048 megabytes of RAM, um, which estimates to like 2 gig gigabytes of RAM, uh, page file, I don't know why you know that, and the, the DirectX version is the latest version for me at least, um, yeah. So, that's all I really want you to know, really, but we're not over yet, oh no. Um, we're gonna explore this computer and see what we're gonna m miss about this. <laughs> Never mind. Um, but yeah. Uh, so we're gonna just. I have no idea <laughs> what I'm doing right now. Well, Mixcraft. I have another Mixcraft for the freak. Um. Yeah, there's not really much to explain, um, like, I'll show you the desktop items I have, actually, for no reason. Of course, we have the all good recycling bin, um, Unity, um, Mixcraft, Hypercam 2, Daemon Tools, Google Earth Pro, Google Chrome, VMware Player, FPS Creator, ICQ, I don't know what that stands for again, but, um, Steam, Magic ISO, um, the American Online Instant Manager, ma um, 
instant, instant man is messenger. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not gonna even clear as a boo boo. Um, E C B C D E. Um, for managing the boot stuff, obviously. Um, I'm gonna put up USB, which is a wolf. Well, not completely worthless, but just kind of Adobe Reader 9 Copy Cube 5.0.2, which is a game engine, obviously. Um, flaps, many came in C.3 internet since I wanted to connect to dial up, but I'm never gonna do it on this computer. Um, taking a look further, um, we're gonna actually go back to the control panel and see what the other apps I have installed on here. Not all of them gonna be shown on here since some of them may not be apps, but. Yeah, um, so yeah, I have 7-Zip, Acousti Acoustica, Mexcraft 6, um, Ad Adobe Reader again, AIM again, AMD Cast Delete Control Center, um, Benji's Animated Sprite Pack for the FPS Creator, C.NET Free Internet, um, Construct 2, Copper Cube, Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Daemon Tools Lie, Dead Space, just download updater, do a call optimizer, which did not even do crap. Um, ECBCD, Far Cry, um, Fistful of Flags, I knew that would be a slightly hilarious thing. Um, FPS Creator and some model packs of it. Um, Flaps, Game Booster, which again didn't do crap, Game Dev Tycoon. Google Chrome, Google Earth Pro, Grand Theft Auto 4, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Half Life, Half Life 2, Half Life, Half Life 2 Episode 1, Half Life 2 Episode 2, Half Life 2 Lost Coast, Half Life 3. I mean, um, still, it's just a joke. Um, the Half Life Software Development Kit, the Half Life Blue. Shift, Half-Life Proposing Force, Hypercam 2, ICQ, Java, Magic ISO, Maker, Manicam, Marmalade, um, again it's a game engine, McPixel, McPixel, Microsoft, um, the .NET framework, um, this, which again I use it for just playing Grand Theft Auto 4, um, Mark again, you know, Microsoft Help Viewer, Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft Silverlight, and some SQ, S, SQL servers. Microsoft C++ and some of its other crap, including the ID. Um, the Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 Experiment Pre. I don't know what it says, but Microsoft Web Platform Installer. Um, I guess mod pack for FBS Creator, um, MS, Microsoft Access 97, Service Pack 2, My Menu. I forgot what the, you use this for, actually. I think that's where you would use for, yeah, it is for, um, Homebrew on the Wii. Um, Pure Block, Portal, Postal, Postal 2, Posted, Postal 2 Development Kit, WAD Video Tools, Real Lives 2014. I want to prep USB, search protect, and that's just some fishing thing I, want, I really want to uninstall right now, but I don't want to. Not that I will tomorrow anyways. Um, SimC 3000 Unlimited, Source SDK, Steam, of course, Team Fortress Classic, Hotel Texas Hold'em, Tyria, The Blinding of Isaac, The Stanley Parable, The Ultimate Team, which does not work anymore for, my, for Windows 10. Unity, Unity Web Player, Unreal Development Kit, um, Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro 10, um, VMware Play, Windows Essentials, WinImage, and the, uh, and another model pack for, um, FPS Creator. Kind of long, but very detailed. Um, yeah, we're gonna, um, just, I don't know. I think I'll end it here actually. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, and tomorrow, as I said, tomorrow I have a high chance of getting a new computer. Um, and I bet I guarantee you. I I asked my mom, and she she got she she made her best attempt to get me a four gigabyte of RAM computer with a five hundred gigabyte hard drive space. 
um, and it will probably be a lot better. So, we'll stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, and I we I wish you a Merry Christmas with Christmas. Um, and I'll actually um post a video tomorrow. Um, just looking over my new laptop. And peace out. Merry Christmas. So that is it for this video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Oh, and by the way, ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Okay guys, so here's the deal. In a snap, um, this computer will be replaced with another one. And now to the video. Using Hug Fox TGM. Merry Christmas. Um, as you, if you didn't tell, um, I got a new laptop today. Um, so I'll show you the specs of it actually, just for reference. Um, security. Um, and you can see this computer is going to probably last me a very, very long time. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, even though it's like 2.9 gigabytes of usable, but never mind. 2.60 gigahertz of CPU speed, so. And it helps it as an i5, so this computer will definitely, uh, pretty much, you know, last me for a long time, so hey. Even though it has Windows 7, but hey. <laughs> anyway, um, on to the actual video. Um, today we're going to be actually playing Google Feud. Um, it's just a game that has become very popular on YouTube, so I figured why not I give it a try. So, I don't know how often I'll play this, but hey, we're going to follow this formula, formula of, you know, choosing categories from culture, people, names, questions. So we'll start with culture. McDonald's versus Burger. Oh, sorry, but oh dang it, Burger King. All right, Wendy's. Um, what other burger place? Uh, what about that, something that's not a burger place actually? What about Taco Bell? Oh, suppose not. Uh, KFC. All right. Um, McDonald's versus what other fat Subway. All right. Um, I'm trying to think of some really good uh, fast food restaurants off my head. Uh, uh Starbucks. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what. Hobbies. Oh, let's see. Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. <laughs> Me. Really? Really? Uh, Chicago. Chipotle. Burger King. Uh, what? Okay. Oh, okay. So this is okay. Never mind then. Next round. People. When is the next Donald? I. Okay. Uh. I know this is people, but I don't get this. Like, when is the next Doomsday? Okay, let's see. Full Moon Debate Indian. I don't get how these are people. So, Full Moon Debate Indian Game New Moon Lens Games Lord of the Life. Names: Kevin Bridges. Oh, really? Kevin O'Brien. Kevin Adikilo Kevin Hart gay gay girl yeah alright and finally question do you still make Nintendo games video games do they still make still make um Walkmans. Uh, okay. Um. 
So the total scroll is around 22,000. So not a whole lot, but hey, I'm gonna play this. Now, I don't know how often, but I'll play it. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that poorly executed Christmas video. Um, hey, um, Christmas, and I got this new laptop, so um, it will be faster and. That's all you pretty much need to know, so we'll be back with some more videos. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this one though, and thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Okay, so uh, I got this big box version of Grand Theft Auto 5 from Walmart. Um, and let's see what's why it's big. So I already got the plastic off for one thing. Uh, so here's something, I don't know what it is. It looks like something you have to open up and... Oh shoot! And the camera stopped. And now it needs to refocus, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, because of the stupid sticker. <laughs> oh, that was fun, uh, let's see what we have. Oh shoot! We're well, um, we got some Grand Theft Auto Online stuff. For one. Hmm. Oh, it's a it's an activation code. Okay. Uh. Alright, so here is stuff for in game Grand Theft Auto 5. Um, that's all for that. Um, and here are two games. Um, well, here's something. There's a map of Los Santos. I'm not gonna open, but oh, they're, they're coming too. Oh man, I hate these DVD casings like this. Um, but yeah, here they are. There were so much dang CDs. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it. I'm gonna close this up. Back to how it should be. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment, wait, and subscribe, and goodbye. Okay, guys. So um, yesterday, Christmas Day, I got the television flashback, which came out um last year, October of 2014. Um, and we're gonna be looking at it because uh. Interesting thing, but it sucks. Um, so yeah, let's begin. Open it. You can see I actually already had it open yesterday, so I just had to clean all this back here. Here's one thing. Uh, the console itself. Um, yeah, you just plug it into your TV with these two, two, uh, these two composite cables. Um, Here's the controller, um, it just sucks, um, another controller, um, and a wall cable so you can plug it up, so, and we have the instructions so you know which game's which, and we have several um, controller cards, even though I'm not going to be using them because they just suck. So yeah, um, let's uh, fire up the television and see what we'll do. So first actually, um, we're going to actually see how hard it is to plug this up because it was really hard. Um, so since my TV doesn't have any composite outlets, um, I have to use my VCR, um, and these, um, two ports not work, I think, in fact, that works. There they are. Clue. Ugh. You cannot even tell which one's which. I don't know if this is really how I plugged it up the other day. In fact, I think this is. Oh, no, we got it. Uh, okay. Um, white one. Those are all yellow. Yeah. Um, 
Now we plug in the audio outlet. Um, so that, and now we're going to have to plug it up to my wall. So. Oh shoot. Um, so I'm going to plug my heater. I don't need it right now. You can see this, uh, this is a wall hog, but um, it's an easy one to get passed by. Um, so now we need to plug this up with this. Okay, this is actually a little bit easier than I thought, but... Oh yeah, we have to plug up our TV. Oh, is this the VCR? And now this one goes into the VCR itself, but um... How are we going to plug it up? Because we're out of room right here, you know? Okay, this is a little hard. Um, but, oh. Yeah, I just, I'm making a big mess in my room. Oh boy. I guess I'm going to have to um, insert this to... Oh man. Um, Hopefully I won't die. Ugh. There we go. Come on. There you go. I think we'll make it. We'll make it. It's gonna make it. No. Have to. Come on, I just want to plug this up. I don't want to break this. There we go. Everything's fine. Hey, okay. And now we can plug up my, the VCR stop playing with this unless if I did something wrong. And there it is. I was sure about to play something. Um, so Okay, so we're gonna power this on now. Not sure if that's what channel. It's supposed to be. And then I'm not done it right. Now it is wired down here, I can tell I didn't do it right. I'm not doing that way in my... <sighs> oh my back. Let's see how much it's on here. They're both with the yellow. Oh, no, they're not. Watch all this footage if they're struggling to get this walk in. Not doing it right still. Oh, there we go. Finally. Yay. Uh, that was a whole lot of work, but we got it working now. So give me a second and we'll put this on a stand. Lights off for uh quality um i don't think it really makes much of a difference anyway so yeah i got the um controls plugged in and um we're gonna actually begin so oh shoot um 
So this is how it works. You uh do this and you can choose your game. Now how do you play the game for one? Uh go to a game, I don't care which one it is. Check out chess. Um and what you do is press this button and the game loads. So um we're gonna now play the game. So Pressing the button again. Uh, so I'm white. Yeah, you can see it's actually quite boring to be honest. And I just noticed the camcorder is picking this up as red, orange, whatever. Ah, I have been through enough physical pain. I just want to play this. That's not fair. I can't do that, can I? No, I cannot do that. That's not fair. They can do it, but not me. That's actually quite unfair. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, thank God. Get the action on. What? <sighs> oh, <coughs> I'm supposed to actually land on them. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> That's not how the game works. Thank you. I'm invincible. Da, 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 da. This is not right. Oh, okay, at least. I don't know how to talk to me. Please. Oh, I new game. Morning, fun, cause morning is so fun. You know how it's still set. Hold on a second. Look at this. Morning fun too. Uh, here's morning fun one for reference. What? They swapped them. They they freaking swapped them around. People. All right. Anyway, morning fun too. I'm still surprised they even managed to mess up that. Uh, Math Master. Five problems. Enter. Level. Five. Yeah, one. No, five. Twelve. Excuse me. Uh, we are. Five. Come on, okay. Second player, uh, Ten problems. Ten level. Um. Oh, oh my.
seven, eight, three. Okay, I'm not supposed to do it backwards. <sighs> Maybe you there. The controls suck, so <laughs> it's gonna take me a little while. Uh, so three, eight, seven. All right, press enter. Start. Um, math fun, actually. Why not? Um, you want to have fun with math? Let's have math fun. I have a feeling this is going to be the same. Yeah, it's the same math. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Thank you, Dollar General. Um, yeah. Uh, which one should I do? Okay. What? Let's see what this is. What? Is that, how about this wheel thing? Okay. Okay, I see. You have to use these two controls at the same time. the two controllers, what the heck?
What a fun. Rockets, da, 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 da. How do you play this game? I have no fucking clue. I think every button I can. How do you play this game? Best question yet. Okay, no! Okay, yeah, go on. point yet. What's this? Looks like a little oil, okay. Oh shoot! I did something wrong. <sighs> what fun, what a fun game. If there's not a little icon by then, okay. Is that T actually? T! It's alright, it's okay, I'm fine. You have an idea. I'm gonna get an E, just in case. Little E. Everything on the bottom screen is you at this point. Go ahead, just go. Yeah, this is what, like going to your phone's house in the 80s and it's like, Oh yeah, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get that little E. Where is it going? Oh no. Yep, good game. Not. Uh, well, baseball, I hate that. I'm not gonna say what it is. Let's play tennis. This one is kind of walkable. Still sucks, but it works okay. Whoa. Huh? What am I doing? Okay. Oh, these things are good. I'm gonna try a few for Tower of Doom and see what that is. Key, okay. Then key. Well, what am I even doing? Well, it's a walkable game, and it sucks. What? What am I doing? What's that? I don't know. Go up. Imagine playing Pac-Man with bad controls. What is this supposed to be? Oh, okay. We have to, like, get the connected dots kind of thing, I guess.
Hope you're enjoying this game so far. I am not, definitely. Oh, wait, that's the end. Well, it works, at least. Anyway, uh... Auto racing. Half of these, um, have, like, this kind of, like, a television. I don't know how you call it, like, some backdrop of some sort. I don't know. Flip course. though this is far worse than um I mean oh, of course this game is very old but it's just not as great as we sports and I don't know what it's do but I'm going to darkness of doom golf God, that noise gets annoying. This noise. Well, that's a thing. Yes. 
fucking. Oh, there we go. Ah, I crashed. I like it how the portrait is like a movie. Just how I put that in it. Oh wait, one more and that's it. This is no good. Um, shock, shock. Ooh, now we get a blue background this time, not the regular crap we usually get. So I can run on two players. One equals one. I'll be dang, this is similar to actually Fitting Flames League. Kind of a quest. Um. Not as good, but it's not that bad actually. Good game, not, not good, but not bad. Uh, we'll do, we'll give it another chance. This is, if this sucks, I'm ending it. Pretty fast, it's like game. One, two, three. Okay. Did I just reset the game? Oh, that's quite cool. Oh man. Where am I? Uh. Not too bad. I don't see the game playing it, but it's not that bad. Oh, I another chance. If the stuff hunt sucks, I'm quitting. Stuff hunt. All right. AKA Top Gun. I'm done. Hi guys, I am Marlies, and uh, I will be calling out Boxstar Tech Support today to ask about GTA 6, so I'll be calling them through my cellular device. I'm saying that because I want to extend this video to 10 minutes so I can get a whole lot of revenue. So uh, let's call out Boxstar. Uh, bye, 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 okay, call. Hello and welcome to Rockstar Tech Support. We are glad to help you extend this video to 10 minutes for your revenue. If you are asking about GTA 6, press 1 and go kindly please hold for 2 minutes.
Rockster Tech Support, this is Microsoft Sam. How can I help you? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, I was just asking about uh, GTA 6. Do you have any information about GTA 6? Like, I'm calling about GTA 6. Do you have any information about GTA 6? Unfortunately, there is nothing about GTA 6. <gasps> Dang Let's it! They're hiding it from me! Oh my god, they're hiding it from me! Oh man, I'm making so, I'm making so much money right now. But they're not, they're hiding it from me. They're not going to tell anything about this because it's, they're not going to disclose it to me. Oh my god, guys, it's the end of the world. I'm not giving up, though. I'm not giving up. It's only three minutes in the video. I will come up Rockstar again with my cellular device because I have to say cellular device so I can extend the video on one time. So we'll go, we're going to be calling again. So five, 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 five okay, okay. Hello and welcome to Rockstar Tech Support. We are please hold for two minutes. Rockster Tech Support, this is Microsoft Sam. How can I help you? Yeah, I was calling about, you know, GTA 6. Like, do you have any, inf in do you have any information about GTA 6 yet? I really want to know. I need to tell my friends even though you're not going to probably disclose the information to me. Unfortunately, there is nothing about GTA 6 yet. Dang it! They're hiding it from me again! Jesus Christ! I need to extend the speed though, it's only 5 freaking minutes. Actually, it's like at 6, but still, it's not long enough. I have to call them like freaking again, Jesus Christ, okay? So, 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 Okay. Hello and welcome to Rockstar Tech Support. Please hold for two minutes.
Rockster Tech Support, this is Microsoft Sam. How can I help you? Yes, I already asked this like two times before, but I want to ask again. I want to know any information about GTA 6. Like, do you have any absolute information about GTA 6? Like, I've been calling you about this like two times away, but I really want to know if you have anything about GTA 6. I need to disclose. I don't uh, just. I, don't, I want you to disclose it to my fans. Now, always watching this because I need to make so much effort of a new app of this video. Unfortunately, there is nothing. Dang it! They're hiding it from me. Jesus Christ! Why do they keep hiding it from that? Oh my God! I hate this. Ugh. Dang it! Okay, guys. So in conclusion, they're not gonna disclose it to me because I know they're not gonna disclose it to me. But I don't care. At least I hit 10 minutes of this video, and I made so much money. Like Jesus Christ! Oh my God! Ugh. I've been using my cellular device to call them up, and they won't tell me about it. They're hiding it from me. My God, why do they keep hiding it from me? I don't get it. Ugh, so annoying. Ugh, but I have only like 20 seconds to just win because I need so much money within the 10 minute mark. Like Jesus Christ, why would they keep? Why do they keep hiding it from me? Like Jesus Christ, stop hiding it from your stuff. You need to stop hiding stuff from your fans and. Oh my god, guys, stop hiding it from me. Jesus Christ, stop hiding it from me. Oh my god, just quit hiding it from me. Okay, guys, so we'll call up Rockstar again. We'll call up Rockstar again tomorrow, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Hi, friends, this is Marley Hughes from Hookbox TGM. Um, if you noticed, uh, the camera looks a little smooth this time around, and that's because it's a new webcam since uh, my um, laptop did not come with a webcam, so hey. Um, Logitech webcam, it's smooth, so that's awesome. But on the other hand, uh, it's my 15th birthday, so hey, happy birthday to me. Um, well, I'm gonna get a job, I'm gonna get a bonus permit soon, that's awesome. Um, all the same, however, it's been a while since I did a burger watch, so we're gonna be doing a burger watch today. This time on a, a recent video, not a recent recent video, this one from five days ago. Um, how many bananas challenge Abigail Mandel? So, who knows? Let's just start the video. Okay. All right. So how are we doing this? Are we gonna pick? You you get to pick. You what get Zoe pick. looks like on camera. What she looks like in the morning. <laughs> oh. Okay. So no clue intro. That's always great. Not. Your mouth, bitch. Okay, so I'm just confused as to what is going on right now. Like, I, so this is a banana chat. I don't get it. If there was a, if, if there was an actual intro to this, then I think I would understand it better. But uh, don't just what the freak am I? Um, uh. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I hope you die. Oh my god, are you gonna put them in my mouth? Okay, wait, let me. Oh my god, am I? No, I can't do that. It's too weird. You can do it. All right, so start. <laughs> uh, 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 what the freak? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. There's no way I can fit that many bananas in my mouth. <laughs> well, even... well, no duh. I don't think the human body is capable of even fitting, uh, you know, more than one banana in your freaking mouth. <laughs> can you fit two? <laughs> Please make. <me. laughs> okay, I guess it is possible after all. <laughs> Are you, you need some help too? Look at the camera! <laughs> what is Zoe even laughing about? <laughs> oh my god, dude! I can't, dude! Wait, let, let, let's, um... Out of curiosity, Zoe, are you just a 15-year-old trapped in an adult body? Because that is exactly what you're acting like, acting like right now. Okay, try again. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Breathe the charm, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming and watching on Twitter. That was lit. Oh my god. <laughs> We're selling these on eBay. <laughs> Ugh, thank God, this insanity's not gonna last for longer. Oh my goodness, thank God. Starting bit at $100. This one's $200, though. Th and these ones have lipstick on them. Ooh, realistic. All right, guys. <laughs>
I'll see you later. <laughs> oh my god, did you just eat that? You nasty ass bitch. What the heck that was that? I mean, it's not the worst video, but it's just cringy and just what the freak? Like, well, never mind that. Um, I am done with this video. So, in that case, uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, at least ones that are not insane, please subscribe. I'm creating a professional gaming team, and I will be riffing the video. Hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe Berger. Uh, hi mom. You may have heard about me, you know, here or there. And I'm here today to be letting everyone know that the rumors are in fact true. And the rumors are... You guys might remember an article by Dick Soto Intel. Basically, the article says, or theorizes, that I am going to be creating a Call of Duty pro gaming team. The answer is yes, I will. Ugh, dang it, I thought you would be coming out as a lesbian. Dang it! Hmm. Oh well, you might as well watch the rest of the video. These girls will compete in the events which will be financially sponsored by yours truly and my business and they will be able to compete and give exposure to girls specifically girls who are in the competitive gaming scene oh okay so let me get this straight exposure girls only Biz did you already do this on twitch um like months ago now it will not be restricted to call of duty though that tends to be where the money is at and i'm sure the girls will want to enjoy the financial benefits of perhaps winning a very serious gaming convention. Okay, why are you just exclusively giving this service to like girls? Why not like men too? Oh yeah, because why scum? Yeah. This will only be giving them a platform to work off of so that they will be able to increase their own net gain and net worth so that they can basically have a career doing what they love. Oh hey Zoe, what about you don't have an internet career because that is not an actual job. Instead, what about you get a real job, like, you know, something you love, as you said, you know, Nintendo, uh, Sega, Ubisoft, uh, McDonald's, you know, so pe you can get fat there, yeah. Now, the choosing process for these girls who will be on the team for the pro gaming will be based on skill. There are several teams that will be affiliated underneath the main gaming team of which I am a part. Now, this creates a whole different dialogue of opportunities and things that people will want to know. But for now, I'm not really going to comment on those matters. Just want to confirm that these are, in fact, true rumors that have been circulating. Oh, going back to saying the same thing you said before, eh? Nice, Zoe. Very, very nice. Not. There will be no imposed forced sexuality. That is absolutely silly. There will be no requirements for any kind of unnecessary things when it comes to the gaming team. Because at the end of the day, the only thing that will matter for the pro gaming team is gaming skill. And, of course, I will only be supporting female gamers. Oh, okay, so it's all clear now. Okay, so basically, Zoe, you're a feminist, aren't you? A feminist SDW, do you support, um, 20 girls or all that crap? Now, it's not because I'm sexist against men, as John Scarce would like to say. Uh, why scum, anybody? I do believe, however, that women and men are unequal. <laughs> what? Whoa, Zoe, what the heck? What? I... Uh, what, what the... Oh my god, I need... What the heck, Zoe? What? I... You, so you're not sexist, but you believe men and women are unequal. What the freak is that supposed to come to, Zoe?
What the heck? They are not equal. There are some things that men can do that I cannot, and there are also some things that me and my group of girls that I sponsor will be able to do that men won't. And are you gonna tell us what that is? Now, this is gonna be an entirely unprecedented event. I cannot think of in another situation that has really primed itself to give attention to the gaming community. And a lot of concerns have been raised about how I will discredit e-gaming and e-sports as a whole, which I do not think is true. At the end of the day, if these girls have skill, they have gaming talent, they wanna be out there, they want their names to be known, I support that 100%. And you didn't get to the point, Zoe, so, so yay! Now, as the days go on and lead forward towards the big reveal of the main gaming team and also my subset pro gaming and stream teams, everything will come more into the life and everyone will be able to understand and have a bigger picture of what we are doing as a gaming team and as a gaming community part. You know, I like the use, uh, I like Zoe's use of the, um, you know, buzzwords like bigger picture, uh, yeah, I don't, don't know, but that's one of the many words Zoe uses to make herself sound smarter than she actually is, so, yay. And sadly, I know a lot of people will have backlash because of this. At the end of the day, I think people will be able to work together, will be able to give exposure to some very well-deserving streamers, gamers, and fucking e-sluts. That's right, guys, we're gonna have plenty of sluts for you as well. And since when was that word ever used in a positive connotation? So please enjoy, and I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you enjoy the journey until the big reveal. Well, what a video. This started out half normal, but then degenerated into um, Zoe being saying that, you know, man and woman are unequal, and uh, just some stuff like just a question I asked that was never answered. I don't get it, but. Whatever, it's Zoe Burgo, and she looks like a mother now, so hello, mother. <laughs> um, but anyway, that is it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Cheap, but I don't want to fill up. Name a famous fill up for me. Fill up. Baker. Okay. Fill up. Jones. Fill up who? Fill up. Bowen. Nope. Fill up. Rivers. Is Hamilton or oh, okay? Questions Does does Canada have Lib Estate 
there. Have maple syrup. Does Canada have? What does Canada have? <coughs> Canada has. Have free speech. Canada has. So, um, feminist, a queen, yeah, state, provinces, the death penalty, if, okay, so, I would normally end it here, but since we didn't get anything about 2016, we're going to just continue on, so, let's just do that. So, we're going to start again with cultures, ketchup is tasty, it's bad, good, oh, Ketchup is is very tasty. Okay, a <laughs> a a spicy food. Okay, okay. So people, I accidentally ate um ate a lock. Hell, I did okay. Um, moldy food, yeah, this is just normal stuff, okay. Name's Alexander Hamilton. Thanks, Ruth Jackson, for that. Um, Alexander Graham Bell. Alright, got Graham Bell. Um, Alexander or something, Alexander. Jones, Bones, uh, Henderson, Alexander Henderson, who, the great, Alexander the Great, ooh, okay, so I, were, a musical, I have with a musical, okay, that's weird, um, names, questions, is it possible to die, <laughs> no, it's not, don't worry, is it possible to, get a job possible to eat without looking uh, okay so normal stuff again um, we'll do just do it uh, one more time the time of charm probably culture we we'll also let these have money have a mansion money you know what, we're going to just culture sparkling water. I can just heat that for a lot, little bit and then we're going to go back because I just want to like see if we can get anything. Get it because, yeah. New York was all rude. Me. All scared. Okay, <laughs> all right. I can't get anything related to. I can't get anything related to 2016 though. I mean, I need culture Oscars. Oh, Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio. That's how you spell it. That right. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's kind of related to 26. And I'll give them that much. Uh, Star Wars is amazing. Overrated. Oh. Okay. So Star Wars overrated is amazing. Said no one ever. Uh, is terrible. I think I'll put that in. Yeah. <laughs> Get the first one. Okay. Anyway, well that is kind of well. We I feel that life. <coughs> I'm sorry. All right, we need something. How to make a cake? How to make a gun? How to make a knife? A people, okay. Our names: Anna, Frank. <coughs> Nathan. 
just need something related to 2016 on this site. Lance, uh, Jerry. Okay, I don't think we're gonna get any actual, um, you know, Stephanie Miles. I don't think. Yeah, we're not gonna probably get any 2016 related thing on name seal. Hopefully we get something. Okay, so we'll just go to questions. Is it fun to uh I don't think there's there's anything gonna be related to to be by Is it cool to smoke? Smoke weed? Smoke? I don't, I don't, is it cool to, to do nothing? Alright. Well, we're almost out of time. I want to get to the 10 minute mark here. Alright, is it fun to be a mermaid? Low. Low. Alright. Questions do the moon have oxygen? Have life? Have aliens? See the malice. Ooh, okay, so this is 2016 related. Now we uh, we're at it. So, alright, Q mail a cat, Q mail an, a cat, a dog, uh, a, what is some kind of animal? A animal? Okay. Q mail a, Q mail a, Q mail, what is something moves that can, a bird? Cumel a parrot. Cumel a goat. I can't. That's gonna. Uh, wait, something that moves. Something that moves. Something that moves. Cumel a laptop. No sunscreen. Oh, I don't think that's gonna get it. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, well, I got. Well, I should have been more specific. You know, gun my person. That's the same thing. Bottom line. Bottom line. Because you know, password. All right. So. And with that, that is it for me for this year. Um, I'll be back tomorrow just for a recap of um, this month and this year. So that's all for me for now. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. Hi friends, this is Molly here's my Hugbox CGM. Um it's December 31st, 2016, meaning it's the end of the month and the end of the year. So I'll go over what will be going on next month and what'll be going on next year. So let's just get right onto it. Um meanwhile you can see these um pictures of me throughout the year. Anyway, um for just for what's gonna be going on next month, probably more Zoe Burger considering how she's becoming a big, you know. The same kind of status that Justin Bieber is. <laughs> um, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't really know much. Well, I'll give, yeah, I'll give you this much job. I'm not planning to relaunch my website anytime soon in that matter because, yeah. So, um, we'll be going on next year exactly. So, I'm planning to launch a few new series. Um, I'm planning to get more intros, and uh, yeah. Um, well, let's see what'll be happening. So probably a bit more. Uh, maybe if I ha if I'm lucky, I'll probably be at VidCon next year. So that will be great. Um, you know, I can't. I, it's hard to tell what I'm going to be doing um right uh, right now because it's just, we're just about to begin the year, and you have to. I'm not a great planner at all, so you have to make sure you actually plan what you will probably be doing the next year. Probably not like, you know, those stupid New Year's resolutions, like you're not gonna eat much cake next year, even though you will probably eat cake anyway. So, that's something, um... But yeah, um... You just, you have to know what you're gonna be doing in 2017. Hopefully, though, um... Hopefully those stu these stupid social justice stuff will be cleared out by the next year because that's just giving me headaches. But speaking of which, 2016, I have, I've been hearing people say it was the worst year ever. However, it's not really. I mean, I kind of agree half of it because 
just some stuff that happened on YouTube, but it's not. It's definitely not the worst deal because tr people are saying Trump is Hitler. Trump is an idiot. He's not Hitler. He's just a stupid idiot. Clinton could be the equivalent of Hitler, but that's a different story. But anyway, um, yeah, 2016 not the worst year, just the worst year for YouTube because people are just becoming fully retarded on the site. So, that, but I'm still here because I just want to make content for my friends. Hey. So, that's something, um, but yeah, that's actually pretty much it, um, so I would like to thank you all for 2016, and, uh, I want to say this before I do go, uh, I want you to look at this, um, little screenshot from, like, earlier in the year, which is probably, like, June or July, and, uh, you can see my, um, stats were not that high as they are now, um, I pretty much only had, like, something like, I guess, 500 and something subscribers, and only like, I suppose, 600,000 views, so that is very low, but now I'm at over a million views, and I'm at over 800 subscribers, so that is excellent, guys, I'd like to thank you for that, and uh, I hope I grow much more next year, and I know I'll be reaching my 1,000 subscriber goal, and so that is very super with you guys, so thank you all for um this year, and that's pretty much it. So um, what I'll be doing now, well, I'm going to just go to the Mexican border, just build a big wall. Just, I'm going to be playing with my Switch and all that stuff because that is what 2017 will be all about. And I hope it will be a great year. So with that, thank you all for watching 2016 and I hope I see you all next year.